hello guys today we are going to see how to achieve the one way and two way binding ok so in the blazer so let's uh, go directly and uh, do the stuff so we have a counter page here so here we will write uh, one new property which is uh, okay we can call it as and, yeah name and uh, we can set it a uh, default value a default value kumar will keep it okay so now let's go and uh, check it out one way binding Okay, so so let's uh, bind the name here. So it's very simple. You have to just type. Okay. So this case, tempting to recite this again. Oops, sorry uh, so I'm trying in the wrong page so we are uh, using a partial class not the base class so so if you understand how to set up the partial and the base class please look at the series of uh, blazer uh, playlist which is uh, added in the chord section as well okay so cool now we will refresh the page okay see I can able to see the Kumar so normally this is a one way binding which can be achieved right so now when I okay so now this value we can change uh, by using the input uh, parameter okay type text okay so value at name okay now whenever I want to whenever the value is uh, changed like on change event unchange event okay uh, we call a method to update the name property okay so let's uh, have one property private void oh sorry so instead of uh, the method we can try achieve the another options like <coughs> okay font change we have a we will receive the change event argument so with this uh, change event argument okay name property e dot value to string okay so on change we can write the lambda expression here and that's this okay there is an error it may be only ascent call operations
okay cool so now we'll go and uh, refresh the page okay so now let's go do something and focus out cool so my value is getting updated now okay cool so this is the one approach like uh, this will be considered like on change so just to get the value and update to the property so we have another approach which is uh, binding property we can okay like we can remove the on change even and directly we can use at bind we mouse over you can see the bind is provided the expression value target on the change event like on change event can be done using bind so instead of on change and we need to pass it to the uh, expression so you can do it in the another way so let's go and okay so now cool so this is the one option which you can do it and another one options like you want on type like on the input time suppose i am trying to add it wec so so whenever i do on input the value should be updated everywhere so that how we can achieve okay this is a kind of two way binding loop right so which can be considered like this way okay so that's very simple so at by then event okay you have to trigger an event on input so this what it will do is on input we are asking to bind into the name property okay so let's go and refresh now now let's try with this this is just a on change okay so now let's try remove okay so it is a binding the value on input okay cool so we can able to achieve the two approach so one way binding and the two way binding so these are the methods and even you can call it the method so initially i try to do that right so um, we can achieve that by just okay sorry otherwise let copy this put it here so we have to call an method we call it private void mm -hmm. okay update name on change okay and here you need to pass it the argument which is a change event argument yeah yes just 
get the reference okay just refer using now what you do just go name equal to e dot value to string okay so this method just call it dot here okay fine now refresh the page again okay so now kumar coders media cool so now it's triggered on change event and it's uh, called the component uh, c sharp method and it's updated your on change event so we we able to call the update name on change event method and we can update the result so this is the approach where you can bind the values hope you understand thanks for watching the video guys please subscribe my channel so that you will get the regular notification if i upload the new video like this and also it will help me uh, to reach a lot of a wider audience because i am trying to reach a lot of people's to the subscription i am getting uh, not it's not to, uh, not moving forward because i i want to put uh, to reach uh, more viewers so please subscribe my channel at least for a uh, once so it will be really helpful for me thank you